Blah! I want to suck your blood unless you're Arcadius, at which point that might be a little bit further down on your list of priorities. Hello! Welcome to the adventures of Purple Head. Have I already done purple? God, have I already named every color? Welcome back to the adventures of Orange Head. And green. Saved it. Now, before we begin work on what I can only describe as the greatest idea I've ever had in my entire life, I do want to warn you up front that I am going to be away this weekend. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. However, there will be an episode today, and you know that because you're watching an episode t today. <laughs> I will try and get the full three episodes pre-recorded so that there will always be a tasty treat of Anne Green waiting for you at some point. But don't be surprised if there is an episode missing, possibly on Saturday, just because I'll stagger them out a little bit, just in case I don't have time. Because I don't want to release a crappy episode. I'd rather release two good episodes than three crappy ones. Or as I've done so far on my channel, 2,600 crappy ones. Now today on the adventures of Anne and her ghoulie friends, I want to expand on a couple of the ideas we started on yesterday. Because I think we're in a place where they could be Really, really cool if we execute them properly. So the first one is then the Witcher mod. Now, this is a mod I've used in previous series, but never really paid much attention to. Now we've got a more fantasy scenario where we have vampires, and also it's Halloween, by the way. Hunting down horrific monsters seems very, very on brand. Now, one of the major goals I want to try and go for over the course of this playthrough is to get every single trophy. There are... I don't know, about 10, 10 to 12 of them, something like that. Oh, there are also grand trophies too. I completely missed that. Okay, so there are a lot more trophies than I thought. But we'll queue them all up on one art bench and then we'll be able to tick them off as we go here. I mean, I could just look with my eyes and say, hey, we've already got these trophies. But that makes things a little more complicated. I want to try and get everything, every single one of these trophies to say that we've use that mod and proven that Anne is the superior predator on this planet. On the subject of superior predator then, we tried to devour the soul of a very much stronger vampire yesterday, and of course the problem with that is she immediately died. And as many of you pointed out, and it was a good catch, we did try and use possession on her, but it didn't work. However, the heart attack side effect of the possession effect did still work. So even if we resurrect her now, she would still have a fatal heart attack immediately, which is hilarious and a premium war crime, but not very helpful to making Anne more powerful. Somebody said if we were to store her body in the royal vampiric coffin, she would just resurrect herself naturally over time, as long as she's got blood points. And I noticed when we resurrected her with the Resurrect Max Serum, it fully restored her. So not only has she got 40 blood points remaining, she also doesn't have the heart attack or anything to worry about anymore, nor the, uh, nor the possession, which was actually on a character sheet. So in theory, next time we resurrect her, we've got a tasty Methuselah ready to be devoured by Anne, which will make her extremely powerful. Now, a lot of people were, were questioning it when I brought it up yesterday, but it is possible. It is in the game files. I've seen it in Prepared Carefully, and I've even tested it in the world. You can get a first generation vampire. Whether or not they can spawn in in the crypts naturally is an entirely other suggestion, but they are in the game. The problem with the first generation vampire, I'm, I'm going to spoil it because I don't think we're ever going to be able to achieve it. I don't think it's possible. The problem with the first generation vampires is that they gain 66,666 to every stat. They are also immune to old age, every single disease, every single negative health condition. So yes, if you do have vanilla expanded cooking, you can feed your first generation vampire nothing but desserts with no downsides. <laughs> <laughs> From what I can tell in the mod settings, though, only Generation 4 and higher vampires will spawn in the world. So we were incredibly lucky to find that Generation 5 vampire. But I could do a bit of tweaking. And I feel like Anne using the full breadth of technology to become the most powerful vampire could be quite cool. I'll leave that idea with you guys, and I might, I might look into it in the future. Either way, today, and maybe over the course of the next few episodes as well, if we can get her up to Generation 4... That would be ludicrous. She would already be horribly, horribly overpowered. She's generation seven now, and she single-handedly stops raids. And then the final thing I wanted to expand on too was the idea I briefly brought up yesterday of nobody being allowed to look at Anne. There's a reason why the ghouls are blind. There's a reason why we keep the slaves in their own area. We should make it so that if anybody looks upon Anne, immediate execution. No questions asked. We'll have the mindless servants running around her castle because that's already kind of horrifying. The ghouls can interact with her, but they're blind so they can't see and i think that's fine I, I i do like this idea so we're gonna give this place a pretty big revamp today because right now it's more mushroom farm than a horrifying vampire castle and before i forget i really do need to give a shout out to dagon as well who has created and her own custom throne because i completely got all the thrones in base game reward are an odd number so making the castle and even amount of blocks on both sides was a terrible idea but we now have the throne of castle bran and i would love to build that out of blood creek 
It uses blood creep and skulls. That is incredible. Although the marble looks pretty good as well. It makes the skulls look a little bit better too. So I'm thinking, why don't we open this up into one massive throne room? Have Anne's throne right in the center of this back room instead. Oh, nice. That's pretty good as well. So carrier birds are essentially a medieval communication console. Not that I think anybody actually wants to communicate with us in hindsight. Ah, oh, carpets for Castle Anne. Can we make fine carpets? We can. And of course, we can make our ideology specific carpets too. And another trait has changed. And lost the trait composed. Oh no. Her breakdown has made it go a little bit more unhinged. Wow. I mean, she did get brawl yesterday and she does have bloodlust. I think she's going a little bit mad with power. Look at that face though. That's a face that screams uncomposed madness. <laughs> Holy crap. I don't think the slaves are ever going to have to worry about food again. And it would be really nice on that subject if we could start work on the mine shaft soon. That way they can actually kind of help out without having to go near Anne's castle. Coffin. Yeah, we still can't build the coffin quite yet. There must be another research we need for that one. Complex furniture? We've got complex furniture. Coffin. Crypto sleep casket? Oh, it actually is. Unlock construction coffin. Wow, that's miles away. I think we've got more chance of getting a resurrected mech serum before then. Wow. Oh, jewelry is also fantastic. We'll have to see if we can make Anne one of those fancy dresses she started with. With that jewelry, a crown. She's supposed to have a crown as part of her role. Her role that apparently she lost. Oh, I guess when she resurrects using her vampire power. Of course. In that case, we need to set that up immediately. Because God knows how much free mood we've left on the table there by not having a leader. And while everyone's here, we're going to have a leader speech and then carry on blinding Muffin Man. We are very, very close to being able to reform the religion again. If you remember yesterday, we took on slavery being unacceptable, which didn't make any sense given that they thought it was fine. But now they're very upset that there are slaves in our colony, which really isn't helping things. I'm going to allow the slaves to be here and look at Anne because, you know, it's kind of important right now. We don't have a choice in that one. But outside of official affairs, if they look upon Anne, death sentence, no question. So the queen in the UK, there you go. Development points change from 12 to 14. Now, if we get Muffin Man to regenerate an eye and just start with that whole process again. There we go. And we can now reform the idea of religion. We'll do that quickly before we carry on giving her the rest of the silence. Also, please don't harm me. Now, we can't take any more memes, tragically enough. We are limited to four of those. But one thing I definitely can do is get rid of that theme and throw it back on in the other order. So at least that way we'll get skulls and morbid things more related to vampires than giant beams of ethereal light. As for precepts, slavery is going back to honorable for a start. And as much as I'd like to continue on with the prohibited drug possession, because I think what makes sense that a vampire would want to sip you on, you know, untainted blood, it is really annoying to have some raider on the other side of the map die with some yayo and all of our people be sad about it. Other than that though, I'm kind of happy with how things are. There you go. One level five ghoul. Now, I really need to open the door because everybody's on the verge of starving to death. <laughs> now, we'll have to see if we can take them all up to level six as well. It was the mental Diablo who did that with, right? From Buffy to Aragon or something like that. Oh, hey. I was just about to say we finished the Wyvern trophy, which is pretty fantastic. But apparently, we've also got new lovers. Breeding program. It's Buffy and Von Helsing. It couldn't be any more appropriate. Ah, oh, there they go. Oh, I'm so in love with you, Buffy. Let's be together. Your eyes shine like stars. Stars whose pointy ends pierce my heart. I'm pretty sure that's dangerous for vampire and vampire-related folk, right? On the plus side, that means we don't have to build any of this crap anymore. <laughs> Gordiana is pregnant. The breeding program. Gordiana and Theophilos. Well, that is incredible. Now we know we've got a little bit of an next generation lined up. I wonder if we'll have to imprison and enslave the baby. Will it be born to an enemy faction? <laughs> I don't know how this is going to work. So we've got a Devil Strand Harvest. And I wanted to give all of the ghouls some sort of ghoul-specific gear. But I also like the idea of them all being distinct as well. I don't really care that all the slaves are going to have the same outfit. We're not going to look at them. But the ghouls, I think, deserve their own little personality. Then it occurred to me it's Halloween. And then it also occurred to me we have a mod for Halloween outfits. Four of them, in fact. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a witch outfit, a mummy outfit, a wolfman outfit, and a vampire costume. Now, I want to give Anne back the classic Anne dress, the one that we kicked everything off with. And then I think Buffy, as the head bishop, deserves to have the vampire costume. My only concern with this is it's not exactly going to be the most defensive thing, is it? Sending our ghouls into battle wearing a 
children's Halloween costume. <laughs> ah, there we go. Did somebody save Redemption Arc? A magnificently powerful vampire's tomb has been discovered. There we confront the creature. I don't know if that message is any different to last time because I'll be honest, I didn't read it. Just got too swept up in the moment. Where are they? Uh, oh my god, they're bloody miles away. If we destroy that, we gain flesh shaping to go with my skin hardening. And you know where I'm going with that one. So we send Anne and the Behemoth. And on the way back, look, if we can get a few more trophies to try and finish the collection, that would be fantastic. There is a Neuron Hunt on the way back. There's two Neuron Hunts, Fenrir and Odin. We've already got the Lothar, so we don't have to worry about that one so much. Though I think the... Yeah, I was just about to say, I think the body's probably rotted away at this point. Meanwhile, back in Aragon's research lab, we have... Whoa, is Royal Apparel the thing we need to make... Anne's headwear. I don't remember what I set her up to have now. The prince requires Holy Roman Rice Crown. And that is that one right there. Oh my god, it's also stuffable. We can make it out of blood. Anne gets the crown she deserves. And I'm starting on castle renovations too. I thought having the rest of the castle lead out of the main corridor coming from the throne room made a bit more sense. And I also quite like the idea of the only way you can get to this ancient vampire corpse is through Anne's bedroom that she keeps behind four locked doors. So the question is, who gets what outfit? I like Buffy being the vampire. Von Helsing, what have you done to uh, indicate that you'd either be a witch, a mummy, or a wolf? Well, she hates animals, so she can't be the wolf. I like the idea of Aragon being the witch because he's into a lot of research. Cackling away over a cauldron seems to be his specialty. So I guess that makes Von Helsing the mummy. <laughs> and that would also make Muffin Man the wolf. This is going to look terrible, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> well, I don't know what I expected. I mean, it's Halloween. Let's, we'll, we'll light them off. Oh, we finished the research, but look at this. You have 8,315 points remaining. We can't do the research fast enough. We're generating more points than we're spending because the research is also cheap. There's just a lot of it. So in that case, I guess it would make sense to go to the Empire and not spend so much money on research when we can't use it. Let's drop it down to just like, let's drop it down to like 10 and just see how they do with that. Or maybe we drop it to 10 in the the place that actually does research. That would, that would help. <laughs> here we go. She's making her way through the apparently not so impassable mountains. And here we have one vampire crypt. Wow, it's very similar to the last one we saw. I won't bother with the Devil Strand this time, to be completely honest with you. So we know the plan is not to use possession. It wasn't bugged so much that possession still kept the heart attack effect going, right? As it is supposed to. So if we just sleep them, then devour them, they might be weak enough that we could get away with that. Well, here goes nothing. Hello there. Granite sealed coffin. This is different to the last coffin we saw. Uh, there's no one in there. It was empty? Oh, we traveled all this way. That's why it looked graphically different. There weren't chains on it because there was no one in there. Well, we could take the coffin, though. Hold on. Might have not been a complete way. Spare in mind, we can't make this till we get crypto sleep. I'm not a massive fan of traveling halfway across the road for a coffin, though. What is that thing? Monster encounter. Yes, I'm in. Those are the things we make the trophies out of. The uh, other specific hunts are for... The vanilla expanded viking stuff we don't have any of that research done yet so we'll head straight to the monster hunt instead so i bought Anne home quickly just to give a sippy to our honestly kind of horrible halloween characters <laughs> i love the idea in theory but i worry they're just gonna get annihilated during the first set of combat speaking of combat there are red dots on the map right now but they're just here to poach they're not here to kill us okay turns out they're here to kill us uh what you said you were poachers poaching what, poaching people? That's just called murder. You can't poach Anne. You know, I'm po poach one of these, huh? Poach that. Yeah, and you can poach one of these as well, you big dick. Unreal. Unreal. F kill your friend. You, kill your friend. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Now that we've dealt with the... Oh. Now that we've dealt with the definitely not raid, we can get back out there. And what I was about to say is, during Anne's long-ass journey back from the Impassable Mountains, we got this thing here. Now, for whatever reason, this one has a crown on the icon where this one doesn't. So I assume this is a rare spawn. As far as I recall, the women had a crown as well. So this could be a pretty massive deal. So I definitely don't want to miss that one first. Uh, who are you? Can I send you to a settlement? Oh, we've got to arrest you first. Let's try it. Let's see if that idea works. If we drop you. Hey, it does work. You're Ansylvania's problem now. Immediately gets there and drops dead of a heart attack. All right, you big ugly beast. Let's see what you've got. And I'm not talking about the chort. What is a chort? 
Uh, Jorts, of course, are the somewhat smaller kin of fiends. They fight with a little finesse, running straight towards opponents and trying to knock them to the ground with the force of their charge, much like Anne. If surrounded by enemies, they will often use their third eye to throw enemies into a berserk rage, turning them on their allies, much like Anne. She may have met a match here. Uh, I hate the fact that it can turn them into a berserk rage because that would completely knock her out of the fight. Monster class traits. Being a relict. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Chalk contract provides much higher rewards. So that must be what the crown means. It's a relict. It's like a great big goat with a beard. Big beardy goat. And that must be its child. <laughs> Stay away from my son. <laughs> now I would love to fight it legit. But I think in this situation, if the... Chort sends Anne Berserk. Anne is done for. So we're going to send the Chort Sleepy Bye Byes. Uh, and then I'm going to drink its still warm blood. No, 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 no. Drink its still warm blood first. I don't know why these factions keep paying us for this. They really shouldn't. No. Oh. Ah. Uh, hello there. <laughs> um. There you go. Okay. One Chort down. What else have we got out in the world? So like you said, the Fenrir, the Odin, things like that. We, we actually can't do anything with them yet. We could go for whatever this thing is here. That's 1.3 days away, though. It's quite the journey. I love that Anne disappears, tells the ghouls nothing, and then just comes back with a giant monster in tow. If they weren't horrified before, they, they should be. Now, fortunately for us, the Muffin Man is very good at construction, so while Anne's away, we can still make a good amount of progress. Hello? That's like three people. Really? Oh, no, no, no there's loads more. I was going to say, there's no way Anne makes up like an entire raid's worth of strength. Okay, six, seven people. We also have a relationship. I assume it's with one of the slaves. The sister of Cassia. The child. The question is, can our four ghouls deal with that? I mean, they are very, very powerful at this point, but we don't have any access to any of their psychic abilities. Oh, besides Claw, apparently. That's a power of the Muffin Man's. It would make sense to give the Muffin Man a uh, weapon in that case. What is a leg skip? Powerful but costly move teleports away your target's legs. <laughs> <laughs> that is genius. Whoa, so Muffin Man has only melee attacks. You notice this? Oh, with the exception of focus. We really do need to give the Muffin Man a weapon. Maybe like a big whisk or something like that. And finally, there you go. They all had an arbalist. They were just defaulting to melee for some silly reason. Four blind magic ghouls with crossbows versus seven knights. I will admit, I'm not overly confident. We could send in the slaves, but... We've only just rebuilt our slave force. I do plan on building some defenses soon, though. Oh, God, I can see where you wanted to do melee, huh? Nice underwear. <laughs> there you go. Just imagine being a medieval raider and turning up at the place and then being killed by a man in a witch hat. Uh, we really do need to build that all back up, too, don't we? Good Lord. On the plus side, they're all split up now, so this should be a little bit easier. This is a real test of our ghouls. Can they take them out without, the, without Anne here? I mean, shit, they're doing a great job, though. These arbalists are definitely nothing to shirk at. Oh, God, be careful. I can hear them hitting something. I don't know what they're hitting, though. Watch out, Von Helsing. Shot in the toe. That's fine. They're fleeing. Man, these arbalists really are a game changer. The only damage we took was... <laughs> Von Helsing lost a toe. What are they attacking? Oh, we had a devil hair? Must have self-tained. Hey, you put that back. My flesh hardening. Now how am I supposed to enjoy that Anne fan art? Run, 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 run. No! Oh, come on. It's arcane technology, so we can't do anything with it. So I guess they just kind of left it on the floor. Well, never mind. Not as if we're going to be able to use it for a long time either. Oh, I mean, what are you doing? You just came here to destroy my walls. Well, I'd really appreciate it if you didn't. We've also got a trait change there too. Buffy lost the trait fast learner. Oh, shit. That's actually quite big. Hey, piss off. Muffin man. Come on now. Oh, God. Please come and help muffin man. This is pathetic. And now you've just stopped firing. What, what are you doing? Shoot the person. Good lord. So yeah, we can deal with raids without Anne being here, but it's incredibly incompetent. <laughs> and that's why I've decided to hack this crypto drone. See, this one's actually got raid turning up in 10 hours. Maybe we could divert Anne quickly to come and help out with that. Then we'll go out to the stone golem later. We'll have to top up their Vitae anyway, so I think this is fine. Oh no. Anne, run faster. Okay, time to leave her again. If you can get a shot off, that would be incredible. Please kill them. Please kill them. Hey, you stay away from that. That's not for you. Nice, 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 nice. Look at that. Teamwork. Teamwork. Oh, incredible shots there from Aragon. What's his shooting stat? 11.02. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. The other ghouls are 
are pretty terrible, though. I guess today is our relic gathering day, right? Not only am I going to try and make all of the relics from the creatures that we've hunted, but if we can get the actual idea legend relics, too, there are three in total. So we might get lucky and we might just get the final quest, but we're going to have to move bloody fast than this other one. And we have another one after that, a secret complex. I guess we'll caravan out, hit that one, get the golem, and then head back. And to be honest, I think we could probably send Un off now. I think it's safe to say that he's got that covered by himself. And there we go. That's another one in the bank then. Trying to be very careful with the corpses, given that, you know, we don't have refrigeration right now. Marriage is on. Is that between Von Helsing? Yep, Von Helsing and Buffy. Wow. I guess there won't be a ghoul breeding program. But maybe there's hope for Anne herself. The cool thing is with children's school and learning, you can have vampires children inherit the vampirism it's it's supported and another empty complex hey there we go we should definitely crack these up because we've got some very good rewards and we do need to resurrect that vampire i'll take the gold though we need that for Anne's new crown that we'll craft when she's back easy now people are saying i should hack these a lot more because the rewards are apparently very very good from them okay well let's see if they were telling the truth 29 hyperweave sure okay here we go another monster hunt i assume that's a guy right there oh look at that thing wow what is special about you golems are mindless matter brought to life by psychic anomaly golems use no weapons for they have no need their fists weighing over 100 pounds each can crush solid granite with one hit okay monster class traits being an elemental a golem is immune to fire and cold are you immune to magic vampire powers no <laughs> I'm not sure if this is well on brand for Anne Green to be annihilating all these really powerful creatures, and that's why everybody on the planet is coming to her for help, or if this is really, really messed up. Like, I mean, it can be both. 480 kilograms, good lord. I mean, it's a big monster made of solid rock. I'm not really surprised. That's it for any contracts for the timing. There are the hunts to do, like I said, but we can't do anything with that yet. We also had another solid diamond meteor dropping down here. Now, the crown that we researched was stuffable. If we can make Anne a solid diamond crown, I think that would be a massive flex. You know, to go along with the stuffed dragon in her throne room. <laughs> Why are you sleeping on the floor, Muffin Man? You've got a really nice bedroom. What is wrong with you? Oh, God, what's happened here? Our ghouls aren't doing too well. I'll be honest with you. I, I, I should have fed them sooner before I'd sent Anne out again. That's my bad. We've also only got 12 hours to break back through to Anne's bedroom before this would defrost. Look, if we're not looking as if we're going to get there in time, I will just take this away. But I'd also rather not because we need this digging out anyway. There we go. No problem at all. Thank you, little ghouls. Oh, God. Come on, Buffy. Faster, faster, faster. I assume the golem body couldn't rot, but never mind. We might as well queue it up anyway. Uh, the animals are killing one another. I would appreciate if you didn't do that. Anne? Where is Anne? How far away is Anne? Uh, not that far. Run, 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 run. Please don't kill the behemoth. If I have to choose, I'm keeping the behemoth. Oh, shit. Well, the, the, the wyvern attacked the behemoth here, so you'd assume that one would win? I'm gonna make it sleep and hope that it doesn't do that again. Now Anne's attacking the behemoth. Wait, is the behemoth the behemoth's gone manhunter. Why has it done that? Oh, wait, hang on. That's where I went manhunter because our person, our, our wyvern attacked it. Technically a member of our faction. Uh, mesmerize the behemoth. I think you just mesmerize. Oh, yeah, that about to breathe fire. Don't you do that. Get indoors, get indoors, get indoors. Oh, you piss. What are we supposed to... Boy, it's a bad day to be Priscilla. <laughs> behemoth, we've been through so much together, please. Please don't make me do this. I want to apologize. Yeah, me too, Anne. Her also just casually fighting one of the strongest creatures in the game is very, very high tier. Oh, God, please be careful. I just worry at any point it could rip her head clean off. So I'm going to keep her healed up, though. Bleeding out in 12 hours. Hopefully we can just drop it and patch it back up. Oh, God, it's taking her apart one toe at a time. <laughs> Who's firing? Stop that. Muffin Man, get out of here. This is a fight for the grown-ups. It's, it's torn her dress clean off. Did you just kill it? Anne. Um, for fuck's sake. She really did love that dress. She really did love that dress. Get her healed up. Uh, uh, what did she lose? It was just a couple of toes, right? Sorry, Von Helsing. It's a bad day to be you, but Anne needs the blood. Well, good as new. Uh, d besides the fact that she's naked. No, not now. At least better let her put some clothes on first. What on earth? Uh, they're attacking that clown. <laughs> what the fuck happened there? We got visitors. That clown just did a line of yayo. <laughs> I, I have no idea what's going on. I'm going to be honest with you. Outlanders from Camarilla. Oh, they were from our faction. 
Oh no. What about the clown? Is he safe? I think he I think he fled. Oh! Well, thank you for that. We'll use that to build some armor in a second, given that everybody's clothes are falling off. Oh shit. I was about to say they hit her right in the eye, but then I realized that was my fault. <laughs> okay, join us, join us, join us. And then you uh, join the worms. Get out of here. Right, turn around, shoot your friends. I'll move the other three forward. Muffin man, go home. You've already taken too much damage. Ooh, grab that one too. Hey, there we go. Right, go, 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 kill your friends. God damn, these crossbows are a lot of good. Look at this. And then I guess we'll do the old classic. Get them imprisoned and send you off to Ansylvania. <laughs> <laughs> you worth capturing? Plants, crafting, medical, not really. We're looking for mining. Any potential downed slave candidates with high mining, we're absolutely going to grab. Another monster hunt. What have you got for me? Clues point towards a group of wraith. And they'll give us a tech prof sub persona core for that. Okay, oh yeah, look at that. There we go. Oh, but what is that one over there? Oh, there are two that we haven't got. I'm not against sending her out into the world again, but I want to start work on the mad science a little bit so that we can have... Mindless automatons roaming our halls, keeping it nice and clean. I don't want to make more ghouls, but we don't want to let the slaves roam the castle, right? So let's start getting working on that. And another relic for Anne. Now, I don't know where to craft Anne's crown. I would love to get that done for today because then we've really, really got a quite the nice collection. I assume it might be at the base game fuel smithy. And we've also got enough components now to build that more advanced research bench. So we'll get that done in a second too. Come on, show me the crown. Where else would you build it if not a tailor bench or a smithy? Uh, what was it called? Oh, it's right here. Holy Roman Reich's crown. There we go. Stuffable. Okay, diamonds though. Oh, damn it. Now I'm just going to have to make it out of silver. <laughs> the actual one is made out of gold, but the amount of gold it would take to get that would take quite a long time. We'll queue it up anyway. Oh, you need cloth? Well, how the hell am I supposed to get cloth? Until we get the castle servants, I'm going to forego the no slaves in the castle rule. Mainly because we haven't got the castle built, right? But we'll get these guys to dig out the areas where we can build the mindless slaves, and then we haven't got to worry about it again. Instead, we can just get horrible, horrible monsters to do all of Anne's bidding. <laughs> Much like the Discord fan artists. <laughs> Damn it, we got so close as well. We've almost finished hollowing out the space for Anne's mad science lab, but now we've got to deal with whatever the hell this is. Oh, hyena? That's not even worth taking a break for. Consume coffee. What if Anne consumes coffee? You know what? Let's try it. Is she allowed to drink coffee? She's a vampire. Uh, vomiting. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, she's just vomiting up blood. Vampires aren't supposed to... No, no, no. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, that's brave. Yeah, no, no. That's a little bit too brave. Get out of there. Get out of there. Run, 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 run. Well, it's coming that way. Piss off. Muffin Man? You should have started running way earlier than that. Oh, Muffin Man's about to get ripped apart by a pack of hyena. Where's Anne? Oh, Muffin Man. Okay, suicide that hyena for me. Piss off, hyena. And then possess that one. Make it kill its friends. Okay, uh, maybe get another one. Create our own pack of hyena. Remember how the expression goes? Fight hyena with hyena. There we are, there we are, there we are. No, stay away. And kill that one. No, no, don't rescue it. That's the opposite of what I want. <laughs> now let's tend to Muffin Man. How are you doing? Wow, she got really annihilated there. She's going to Vitae to heal herself. She does for at least one go. Stand still a second. Is that a friendly hyena? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is not. They were far tankier than I gave them credit for. That took a good few hits from around there to bring them down. So in this top section of the castle, we'll have all the mad science going on. So we've got the orb table. Now that requires an orb, unsurprisingly. But I've actually no idea where we get those. I don't remember we got them beforehand. We may have to get some from traders, but we did unlock the ability to... There it is, the bird post. Which, of course, you build out components because birds aren't real. So I'll throw one of those down out here. That should allow us to communicate with other factions. Wait, hang on. There's a coffin right there. Oh, you fool. <laughs> I don't know what happened to the uh, coffin that we put on the back of the behemoth. It's just disappeared. It might be lost in this stockpile somewhere. I'm not brave enough to look for it, but we can just build them. Well, let's build it out of bone then. Uh, here you go. Don't worry. You're fine. I put the lady in the coffin. Instant resurrection. My god, has it actually worked? Contains a lot of the marine. Okay, for the time being, let's not worry about that. Because Anne is still a little bit injured. I want her to be at full power. I also want to be prepared with the ghouls. Just in case something goes wrong. I want to guarantee Anne diabolizing her way up to level 5. She might only go up to level 6 this time around. But just getting her even slightly closer is going to make her so much more powerful. But to carry on with the mad science, I've got three autopsy tables. Because it seems like the perfect place for it. I wish we had... 
some sort of hospital bed or something, but we don't have anything at all. I guess more slab beds, so it's got that kind of more morgue feel would be pretty good. In the mist tab, there are these things here as well, the Ensomnic caskets, which are medieval crypto sleep caskets. That would make a lot of sense to have. Oh, the tool racks, even though they're not... They, they won't have any benefit here. Well, at least it'll look kind of cool, I think. A burial coffin? Sure, we could throw down a few coffins. That kind of, again, makes sense thematically. Then I'm going to throw down this scribe table in the middle of it all. That's what we need to use with the conjunction with the bird post. I believe the bird post is like an orbital trade beacon. This thing is what you use to actually contact other factions. But again, it kind of looks as if she's chronicling her, her mad science discovery. So I like that. Oh, shit. We've got a baby. Hello, baby. The baby is born a slave. Wow, that's tragic. The first ever baby of the vampire. Wow. And what I was about to say before Gordiana rudely interrupted me by giving birth was that Von Helsing has a creativity inspiration and she's decided to give up on that. No, 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 no. I don't even understand. No, 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 no. She just abandoned her important work to go and make us body strap for a baby. <laughs> <laughs> what I was about to say is, even though we can't make the crown that we need for Anne's outfit, we can still make Anne a crown. And we can make this Blood Creek King's crown that I thought was quite nice. Um, the baby just immediately turned into a grown-ass man. What the fuck? The fact that he immediately put on the clown outfit too is so fucking good. Well, I guess my settings for babies and children must have reset then. Oh, that's horrifying. <laughs> oh, my settings reset. Damn it, they're supposed to be born at zero. So obviously in base game remote, because aging takes so long, they're born at 14, so they can immediately work be helpful to, for the colony. Otherwise, if you were waiting for them to grow 14 years in base game remote, It'd be longer than most people ever play a single map for. But instead, it's just left to this horrible eldritch baby clown. Come on, masterwork. Oh, you're inspired with that too. That's terrible. Oh, excellent. Okay, fine. Blood Creek King's crown. Wow, look at that. Oh, no. It looks like she's got a pillow on her head. <laughs> oh, no. That looks terrible. Castle Anne is finally complete. We can resurrect the Generation 5 vampire. She has a fancy crown made of the blood of our enemies. The base, I think, looking pretty good. I did waste all of our wood on artificial trees, which um probably wasn't the best investment. I'll be the first to admit. The slave breeding project is working. We can smelt steel. We've got the advanced workbenches on the way. More importantly, we've got two more trophies to go. Tomorrow, then, all in on the mad science. We're going to bring Anne up to a mighty powerful Generation 5 vampire because she's not very strong right now. I don't know if you've noticed. And then all in on... T Wait, it needs to be powered. One what? It's a bird, the, the single what? Are you kidding me? Uh, Power output, one what? That is so, so good. And then you fuel it with food. Okay, that's, that's absolutely genius. We will start on capturing people and converting them into mindless monsters to run the halls of the castle, which becomes even more horrific when you realize that Anne can feed on them. So you've got these horrifying monsters roaming the castle that's being preyed on by the master of the castle. Wow, she's fucked up. And then the final thing to say is thank you all for watching. Going forward through Saturday and Sunday, assuming there's an episode on Saturday, depending on how much time I get, it will be pre-recorded up until Monday again, where I'll read through everything, catch up, and, and take a look at what your suggestions are. But until then, I'm going to be pre-recording, so I'm not going to have a chance to reply to anything, but I'll try and keep up where I can. So thank you all for your patience with that one. Don't normally take a weekend off, but this is kind of a special occasion, so... In the meantime, a thank you goes out to the patrons, including Gammon Jude, Passy965, Dangly Wang, Mr. Chicote, Flying Spaghetti Monster, Flight Gamer, Tenacious Bloom, C Mac, Viazine, Antolino, Evelyn X, Bellman, Avion Prime, and Ashen Jack for their support the executive producer tiers over at Patreon. And I'll apologize to those of you not yet on the end credits or the list or whatever. Again, I'm I'm pre-recording this, so I'm gonna be a few days behind right now. Thank you as well to Maximus Basilius, K Shot, Nero Goopin, Astros Fan12345. Chicken Robo, Richie Luigi, Squiddy to McGruff, Crobe, Wide Riot, Wifty, Sam the Sensual Sapphist, Pikiune, Drunken Scott, Smegma Dave, and Layabonds. <laughs> Fucking Smegma Dave. 